I do get burned out by imitation voices. Like I, I, some people like say there's like this voice that's been, it's starting to fade away finally, but it's been going on for about 20 years now where these, these singers do this thing where they're like, uh, like say if they're singing the word good, they'd be like good. Like they put like a U in it, you know? And it's, <laughs> and, right. and I remember like I was at a, I was at a jazz show one time in, in Waterloo, um, watching a female singer by the name of Alicia Brilla. Um, she's pretty good. I don't know if she's world famous, but she's definitely famous in the in Waterloo where she's from. And she brought out this like twelve year old girl to sing a song, who was like just some girl from school, like a little girl in school who has a great voice. And she did that voice, like she did this voice that sounded like every pop star on the radio. And everybody was so proud of her because she sounded like she should be on the radio. And I'm going like, yeah, she's got no voice. Like she's trained herself at twelve years old to sound like other people. Now that's fine. Now like this was she she'd be in her twenties now. And I'm sure she, I'm hoping she has her own voice now. I hope, you know, but it's, that's hard to find that confidence. Like uh, coming home from the Queens of Stone Age concert, I brought my parents to see the show with me and uh, I had them locked in the car and I always struggled to get my dad to listen to my music and like really, and, and give me opinions on my music. Right. So I put on, I put on speak the future. My parents had to listen to it a full volume the whole hour, <laughs> you know, while we're driving home. And one of my dad's biggest comments, a positive comment of the thing was like, is it how good my voice has become for singing? And I said to him, I said, I don't think my voice is better than it's ever been. It's the same as it's always been, but I have more confidence in letting you hear it. Yeah. You know, because, you know, like I've, I, most of my singing gets unrecorded because I'm singing in the shower, I'm singing with the band, I'm singing live, whatever. Like I've done lots of things with my voice that my dad hasn't heard, mm. you know, but, but you've helped give me the confidence to, to let it out of the bag a little bit, mm. you know? Um, which is nice because I said like I've told you I don't get a lot of compliments on my voice so I don't feel like it's worthy you know and you've been very complimentary of my voice and it's gives me more and more agency you know to be able to be like yes I'm going to belt this I'm going to yeah. crank it up but I'm not quite I know I still probably mix a little bit lower than maybe you'd wish but I know I'm getting it right <laughs> to the point where I, well the one I'm, I'm getting the one I'm mixing just now I'll get it I'll get it where it should be and then you'll hear you'll hear you'll, you'll, you'll probably probably be horrified you'll go well that's not that's way too loud and I'll be going mm, give it a minute or two give it give, give, give it some listens let other people hear it see what you think yeah your voice your voice is a weapon man you, you that's that's a weapon you should not keep in the sheath you should bring that out yeah. every time every time and and, and nail nail people to the wall with that because you've got such you've got such a a growliness to the voice when you want it you can you can do the you can do the cookie monster growl you can do the sweetness you know you can do you can do all of that and yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying working with that track uh, I'm taking you probably noticed I'm taking my time with it I'm not uh, I'm not rushing through it because um just because I've got I've got a couple of sort of medical things going on that make it difficult to 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 work steadily for like a couple of hours and stuff but um, I'm doing a sort of an hour a day so what I do is I say to myself today I will do that thing and if I get that thing done plus something else then that's fine so like the last thing I was working on was um, the vocals actually Uh, so you've got like two or three different styles of vocals so I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out whether I can do it with automation or whether I have to have them on all on different tracks you've got one where where you've uh, you did two takes synchronized so you've got a double vocal that's great that's great so but i worked on that a little bit um what i've done that, and that one's hard that was hard for them that out like i didn't like it i didn't Aye. like that performance but it was it was the closest thing to what i yeah it sounded right to me yeah and yeah. if you're hearing if you're something positive in it i'm happy to hear that because it was like Ugh, but i felt the same way about death will come and now when i hear it i'm like fucking right like you did magic with it you know so <laughs> well what was it what was it about that double vocal bit that what, what was the problem for you with that then it's just, it just it just it just it's it's saying it sounds different than anything i've done before and it just it just sounds weird to me like it's not it's nothing wrong with it it just doesn't my instinct is to is to erase it and try again well, those I, two I, those two takes that you did were they did you mean to synchronize those yeah, 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 well, yeah, tongue, yeah. Like, it was it was meant to be doubled. Yeah, because yeah, right, I wanted right, okay, it to have yeah. like that. Because I was going like, to say if you if you'd done that by accident, that would be like that would be a miracle, you know. But you so you you meant to do it, so that's fine. Yeah. Well, what I mean, I don't think there's any point in keeping secrets from you and trying 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 to surprise you with this stuff because we're I think we're beyond that. Uh, so what I've done with that one is I've I've at the moment the way it's working at the moment is I've got your voice right and left ish be somewhere there. 
Uh, and when I did that, because of the nature of the voice, it's kind of gravelly and kind of, you're, you're, you're really sort of enunciating. It just sounds like there's a gap in there somewhere to me. So I filled that with backing vocals. Ah. So I've got, I've got some, I, I like typed out the lyrics and, and I, I got your meter and, uh, which was not easy. What is the, there's a, there's a, there's a word that you, the, the, you, the word musician. I can't sing the word musician. <laughs> It always comes out as magician, but I, because it's a backing vocal, it'll not matter. You know, you, you you'll never hear it that clearly. So I went through the track, and I've got I've got uh, backing vocals for for the for the relevant parts, and it makes the ending better. You know how you were saying you weren't sure about the ending in that track. I think that was the one where you were you. It just sort of ends, Did, but didn't really have it, an ending. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it it works. I think it works now because the last bit of your voice on its own will be a good ending you know because the backing vocals will stop before that so it makes it sound i don't think i've heard this sound from you before so i hope it doesn't offend you when you hear it you go that's not me if it does we can work on it again but i think it works i think it i think it gives the it gives the track a lift into something into something different and my voice is different from yours i'm i'm singing high and also i'm mucking about with um with nectar, with the with the harmonisation on nectar, which is actually yes. better this time because what I did was I think the mistake I was making before was I was feeding the raw vocal into the harmonizer on on uh, nectar, and it wasn't dealing well with that. But if you if you pitch correct first, uh, if you do the pitch correction first and then you feed it into nectar, nectar's happier to do the to to, to generate nice kind of harmonies and things ah. so we'll, we'll see how that goes so that was the last thing I was working on but I've got the I've got the I've got the drums and the bass and the guitars all working really nice I mean really 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 fucking there you know nice um, I had to redo your kick drum so I've, I've been taking I've just been ripping things out of your tracks and just saying that's okay uh, the kick drum the kick I don't know what you were doing I don't know what was going on uh, with with the kick drum uh, but it was it was coinciding with the bass occasionally and it was because of that the the whole impact was kind of receding a little bit. So I took that out and I just I just duplicated the base the base figure. Nice. Uh, which didn't take that long actually because you'd repeated that quite a lot. But now you get that you get that real sort of coherence between the the base. You had two. You had two. You obviously duplicated it. I don't know what you were thinking, but so I took one of those and I used uh, Little Alter Boy on it. Little Alter Boy is brilliant at pitch shifting any monophonic signal it's not as good at harmonic signals it doesn't like that but monophonic signal like the bass is because I think that was the five string bass again was it? Actually you know what on that one there I used my Warwick but I was playing it on the high D string so ah, it, right. essentially it was Right yeah. right yeah. so that, that explains that um, so I pitch yeah. shifted this, the copy down by an octave to get the and it's a nice sort of growly it's got a nice sort of growly growliness to it now which really with the especially with the guitars really kicks you know and I kept the guitar the guitar uh, plugins that you had uh, I kept those the lead guitar I need to do some more work on that I maybe maybe consult you on that when I come to that but I'm not really I've got a, I've got a placeholder with the lead guitar just now uh, so I'll get to that but I'm concentrating on the vocals because the obviously the it's all you can get the rhythm section working really well, and that really probably won't change. But the minute you get into guitars and leads and stuff, then you think, oh, how does this sit with the vocals? So then I have to go to the vocals, and I'm kind of working between the two just now, trying to get them all to sit. There's 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 one bit where you're doing the kind of speaking. Uh, it's more it's more of the, I, that's the one I asked you about. Are you any objection to me pitch shifting that down to make it a demon voice, which it work which works really 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 well with your voice. It's like well that really does sound like uh, authentically demonistic. Uh, <laughs> but that bit, I think it's that bit or another bit where you're doing a sort of kind of spoken thing. I think that might be the second one where you've got a lead and an extra rhythm guitar, and I'm trying to balance all of that. And it's getting the it's getting the 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 diction of the vocal through the extra guitar so I'm going to have to do some automation on that I think just to make that right but uh, again the voice will be the voice will be the thing so I'm I'm mucking about trying to get trying to make that voice as dramatic and and n not not so it overwhelms the track but you can hear what what's going on because it's a great message you know about the 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 the, the, mu the musician so happy with what he's doing then he kind of realizes wait a minute this is a dystopian message from the future which is sort of semi autobiographical with your situation doing doing the music you know and that whole I'd love that whole sort of science fiction idea about 
the future echoing through the past you know there's something that happens in the future and in, and in your sort of science fiction scenario here you're 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 positing the idea that this is the ai has somehow found a way to to stretch back through electronics and it's this musician is picking all of this stuff up you know and uh, who knows maybe it actually is happening you actually are <laughs> so <laughs> in receipt of messages from the future so it's a great idea you know uh, it's a great idea so I'm really enjoying working with that so yeah so it is the progress is being made um, and you know it will be delivered on time don't worry when you when you say <laughs> when, when you say look Perry I need this I'll be like I'm right there with it don't worry I can uh, I, I'll I'll I'll, um, I can good, I can do it fast if I need to, but I'm in, I'm enjoying doing it a bit slower because the last one that I did for you, I was I, re I really wanted to get you something quick so that we could so I would know if it was any good. Well, it, it turned out okay. There was a couple of a couple of sort of rejiggings that needed, and that was fine. So I, I'm kind of I'm pretty confident I know where to where to be with this one. So I'm 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 allowing myself the time because. The, quite often I bring in. Well, is that a word that you guys know? Bring it means to rush in. Okay. I bring in with stuff and I just I get there too quickly and it's you know I miss things so I'm, I'm taking my time with this one and also I've got a problem with my shoulder which means which means I can't use the mouse for 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 too long I've got two mice here so hop, swapping between them is is helping but uh, if, I, if I just sitting still using the mouse a lot my arm gets really sore uh, also means I can't play fucking acoustic guitar either because I've, I've got to reach round and it's oh god it gets so sore it's fucked up 